Needy Support Center is located in Kampala, Uganda, in one of the city's most impoverished neighborhoods. The center works to support, educate, and empower all needy persons in society. They are one of the community-based partners of the Canada-Africa Partnership on AIDS. They are part of the Sustainable Livelihoods for Orphans and Caregivers project, funded by CEDA. This is a story of the caregivers group that has benefited from a small grant to start income generating activities. The caregivers are women who work in their community to support people living with HIV AIDS. They visit the very sick to provide support and counseling, often bringing small gifts of necessities. This much needed support would not be possible without the income generating activities. Most of these women are also the sole breadwinners in their families and support many children. Many of them also take in children who have been orphaned by HIV AIDS and the conflict in the North. The women have chosen to make jewelry and simsim, a paste made from ground sesame seeds and peanuts. The process of making the jewelry is simple but takes a lot of time and effort. Since buying the manufactured beads would be too expensive, the women make their own beads from paper and mix in factory made beads for the final product. The women often use paper that would have otherwise gone in the trash, recycling at its best. The process starts with the cutting of the paper. They cut the paper into pointed strips with a paper cutter. The size of the strips depends on the desired size of the beads. This job is usually left to the best cutters in the group. They then take a small piece of metal and start to wrap the paper strip around it. This process may seem simple, but it actually takes more skill than meets the eye. The caregivers pride themselves on their perfectly formed and symmetrical beads. If the women are making larger beads, they wrap more than one strip at a time around the small piece of metal. As they reach the end of the paper, they dip the tip in glue in order to keep the shape. They then repeat this step over and over again until they have a long strand of beads. The strands of beads are then dipped into a non-toxic varnish and left to dry. The caregivers seem to enjoy their work, laughing and talking together most of the time. The women then take the beads off and start stringing the beads into beautiful pieces of jewelry mixing their paper beads with manufactured glass beads to achieve truly one-of-a-kind necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. Each caregiver has her own style and special skills in making certain items. The jewelry is sold in local markets and soon it will be sold online through Needy Support Center's blog. The profits from these sales help the caregivers to continue and expand their very important work with some of Kampala's most vulnerable residents. The money also helps them to pay school fees and provide for their children and the orphans they care for. Sing along.
To find out more, visit capaids.org and needysupportcenter.org.